Jacob, first of all, congratulations. Young Player of the Month for September. How does it feel to receive an award with such competition as well throughout the EFL? Yeah, um, I'm delighted to achieve the award. Um, I think it's recognition for the performances I've put in in September and also the team's performances as well because we've gone through September unbeaten, keeping a few clean sheets as well along the way. So now nah, I'm delighted to get the award. And the individual recognition at such a young age, how much does that mean to you personally as well? Yeah, it means a lot. Um, as I said, a lot of recognition for what I've done. Uh, I've come here and I think I've, I've impressed people so, and that's what I was aiming to do. But no, I am, as I said, delighted to get the award at, at such a young age and under uh, like big competition as well. No, so it's, it's a great award to get. Of course, on loan from Hull, 12 appearances so far. Could it have gone any better for you so far, do you think? Uh, yeah, um, I'd say if we could have stayed unbeaten for the, for the full, I think I've played 10 league games. I think we've been beat once at uh, Crawley last minute, so I think uh, if we could have kept a clean sheet there, I think it had gone perfect. But no, obviously, there's always um, ways to improve and stuff, so it has been good, but obviously there's ways to improve and that's what I'm looking to do in yeah, the future. For perfection then. Um, yeah. I mean, you made your debut in the, the Carabao Cup. Just tell us about that experience making your professional football, playing against men for the very yeah. first time. What was that like? Yeah, it was uh, it was tough to be fair against a good Bristol side as well at their place. So it, their fans as well. I think there was a lot of fans there, and I've never experienced anything like that. So um, I had to get the fans out of my head straight away, kind of thing, and just concentrate on my game. But I was ne next to uh, Toza and, and Raglan as well, so their experienced pros, and they helped me through it, and they've been good along the way. So no, um, it was tough, but uh, I enjoyed it. What's the experience as well so far, working under under Michael Duff, under in a successful team? You've been quite lucky with your, your yeah, loan, really, haven't you? Working, you know, in, in a, a team that, that's winning and doing well. What's the experience been like in terms of working under the manager? Yeah, um, the Gaff has been brilliant with me. Uh, obviously, he's the next centre half played in the Premier League, so he's always talking to me about what I need to do. He's big with keeping your shoulders turned as well, keeping concentrated. So now it's been great working with him. But um, coming into such a, a team that's doing well has has been good for me. Because um, every day you come in, everyone's in good spirits and everyone's on the training pitch, it's, it's better, everyone's happy, there's more smiles on their face. But even if, then when we did get beat against Crawley, we were still smiles on the pitch because we knew that we'd go again and, and get a three points on the Saturday, which we did. And, and you know, your dad, obviously a famous Hull City player himself, former Hull City player, what did he make of the choice of law move as well, so far away from home of course. Yeah, um, well, I think he wanted to get me out of the house to be fair, <laughs> so, uh, I'm joking though, um, he, he's been great with, great with me to be fair, obviously I got home and told him that there was a few clubs interested and he obviously wanted what was best for me and uh, obviously I told him that Cheltenham and obviously Sheafy was here as well, so he thought that would be good for me because um, it's a great little town as well and um, the players here are good, so now nah, he was, he was uh, happy that I could get the move to Cheltenham and experience some pro football. What's it like to see as well? It, so many young players now doing well in the EFL. We've seen likes of you know Luke Matheson scoring at Old Trafford, Jude Bellingham mm. hitting the heights he's doing at the minute at, um, at Birmingham City. What, what's it like to see all those players doing so well and yourself doing well? How much of an inspiration is that for you? Higher up, you see those players performing week in week out now. As well? Yeah, definitely. You like look at the likes of Chelsea as well. The young players there. Um, it's there's a good pathway there through the EFL. I think um, a lot of managers now are giving the young players that chance which I think they needed and um, I think a lot of the younger boys are, are performing well. So uh, that's only going to be good for the manager and the team going forward. And having you know, the confidence of both your managers as well, even Grant McCann giving you that three-year contract before you came out here and, and your manager now saying that you know, next year you should be playing in the Championship, how good is it to have those two people believing in you? Yeah, um, obviously two great pros. Obviously, they see what I do in day in, day out, so they've got a better look than the fans kind of thing. So uh, to get the recognition off them too is great, but um, I've got to keep on impressing them. Like, I can't just stand still. I want, I want to keep pushing. And as he said, he wants me to, like I said, I can play in the championship, but I've got to got to impress people to do that. So hopefully if I can do that, then, then that'll be good. And ambitions for the rest of the season so far? You seem to be in a, a promotion hunt already. Yeah, obviously, the gaffer wants promotion, and so do all the boys. All the boys are hungry for it. But I just want to play as many games as I can, do as well as I can and um, we'll see what happens. But hopefully, yeah, we, we want to be pushing for promotion because I think the boys are good enough definitely to do that.
and how you're going to, you know, it's an individual award. You've got a week off this week after the yeah. match against Newport got called off because of international call-ups. How are you going to celebrate winning this award? Um, well, I think we've got the, the weekend off to be fair. Obviously, we're no games, so I'm going to get home, just see all my family, um, see, how, see, how, see how they are, and obviously they're delighted. I don't think they don't know that I've got the award yet, but um, once they see it, they'll they'll all be happy, and we'll probably go out for some food, something like that. But no, I'll see all the boys from back home, and obviously they'll be delighted for me. So so I'll just celebrate by seeing my family and friends.